Hi guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to make this uh, subtle bloom effect on your custom item models. So uh, this is going to be an advanced tutorial. I'm going to assume that you already know how to make your own models and you have a good grasp of whatever image, te uh, image editor you're using. So here is something you may have encountered. Uh, when you try to make your bloom, it ends up looking really weird. So what you may have tried to do is just do this. And then maybe uh, scale it down to 50% opacity. But the problem with this is that then you get a nice hard circle. And that's because Minecraft doesn't handle transparencies below 10.2%. So if you want to have a, a feathered edge, then you're going to have to trick it. So that's where this comes in. If you go back to that text you just made, uh, put it at full opacity there, uh, now make a new layer, put it behind that one, and set your mode to dissolve. So now that makes it all pixelated. So instead of um, controlling the, the transparency with alpha, we're going to control it by turning on and off random pixels. Okay, now merge down, export it, and reopen it. And now you set the opacity to 10.2%. That's as low as it'll go. So now when we reload, you're going to have a nice little bloom effect. It's quite hard to see, but you don't want to overdo it because in Minecraft, it's uh, not a real bloom. So if you make it too opaque, then uh, when you say look up, it disappears and that, that'll be really obvious. And it also doesn't work in the dark because uh, it still needs to be shaded by the light. So that's it. That's how you make your own bloom. It's best if you apply it to a flat object like a sword, because otherwise uh, you would you would expect it to be visible from angles like this and like this, but that would involve more planes and they will begin to conflict. So I hope this tutorial was useful and you can start using more advanced image textures in your models.